lean ground beef. We got some chicken tenderloin, some oats, some raspberries, strawberries, white rice. Never mind those rolls right there, that's for later. Some sugar-free syrup, organic bananas, frozen broccoli, vanilla almond milk. Uh, what is this? Some bell peppers, sweet potatoes, and some rice cakes. So we got all this, and this is what I'm gonna be eating for the week. $45. So the only thing that I didn't get from the store today was the oats. Of course, the first two things you wanna cook is the sweet potatoes and the rice, just because they do their own thing. So you're gonna put the rice in the rice cooker, and we're gonna poke some holes in the sweet potatoes. Show you how you do it, because you really, you know, just in case you ever go to jail or prison or something, you gotta know how to shank something, right? So you take the fork, you take the sweet potato, and like this. You gotta shank. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, just like that. All right, now we got the extra virgin olive oil and it drizzle on the potatoes. Coat it like that. You don't need a whole lot. You have your, uh, your Reynolds wrap. You know, we don't do that at Dollar Store Aluminum Fall over here. We, we like the Reynolds wrap over here. Don't wrap it up in here. Not this. Not this. Not this. Not this. All right, then we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 and that's it for the sweet potatoes. So, uh, gonna pop it open. Put your rice over in there like that. I don't know if y'all do this, but I rinse my rice off before I actually cook it. All right, and then after you're done rinsing the rice off, you fill it up. Wherever the, the rice stops, I do twice the height of that. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I do mine. And this is how it looks. Good thing about a rice cooker is you just put it on here Put the top on, and if you look right here on the side, turn it on, it's on cook. You, you don't have to do nothing. You just leave it there. Whenever it's finished, it pops up and it says warm in. That's it, so that's it for the rice. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the lean ground beef. I like to put bell peppers in my lean ground beef. Sometimes you can get the 80% 80, 80 lean, 20% fat. I got 93 set, that's what I like. So I'll go ahead and cut these bell peppers up and we're gonna get the ground beef started. Y'all probably like the green the green bell peppers, but I prefer the, the colorful ones because they have more phytonutrients. So if you didn't know, the color of your vegetables matters. You know, your, your mama ain't tell you to eat your greens for no reason, but what she didn't tell you is it's important to eat your, your orange vegetables, your red vegetables, all that stuff. You gotta get all that in. Letting the ground beef cook, and then we're gonna put the bell peppers in there when it cooked down a little bit. But while this is cooking, we're gonna go over to the chicken in the crock pot. So that way I can show you how we set all that up and then we'll come back to this and put the bell peppers in. All right, now we got the chicken. All you need is a crock pot. Don't make it more difficult than it has to be. Sometimes you can cook it on the stove or in the oven. I'm telling you, the crock pot, you don't have to sit here and monitor it or any of that stuff. You just throw it in there. So we're gonna dump all this chicken over in the crock pot. Message! Pot like that and we're not gonna get fancy with the seasonings seasoning salt we got black pepper and i'm trying this out today because it looked like it was good we got montreal chicken seed so you got your chicken in there pour you some of that in there what they say on the cooking channel a liberal amount of that all right i know that we millennials but some of y'all are soft so i'm gonna use my hand to mix this up real quick I'm gonna put a tad bit more of this in there. And after I do this, I'm gonna put a little bit of water at the bottom too. A lot of times chicken breast can get kind of dry. And when you're eating this every day, you don't wanna be eating dry chicken. Slide your chicken to the side. And look, you don't even need that much. And I'll fit your chicken down in there. Come back to the crock. Oh, what is that? Since I'm only gonna be cooking this for about hours, three hours, I put it on high. Now we're gonna go back to the ground beef. Here in a second, you can see it's pretty much cooked. I mean, there's still some red pieces. Go ahead and start dumping those over in here. Want it to be a little more juicy. So I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on here. We're not really sauteing the vegetables. You really want the vegetables to sweat. That's how they're gonna get softer and cook down. And get these vegetables to sweat in the way that we do that. Just like that. All right, now we got the overnight oats. A half cup 
uncooked is 27 grams of carbs. I kind of can eyeball it now, but if you want to measure it out, you can. But these are going to be in the refrigerator overnight. We're going to put some whey protein in there, some almond milk, some cinnamon. I do the sugar-free syrup in the morning just a tad bit, and then I put my fruits in there. So we'll go ahead and start pouring these in here. Yeah, that's about right. And then I go ahead and put my whey protein in. One scoop, however, is... 24 grams of protein, but I do half scoops. So that's 12 grams of protein per half scoop. Oats is for the carbs. Protein powder is for the protein. Put some ground cinnamon in here for flavor. Now it's time to put in the vanilla almond milk. So, all right, so the milk is now heated up. And we're just gonna pour it in these little things right here. Hopefully I don't waste it. I'm gonna mix all that up in there. Just like this. Now there is a certain consistency you want. You know, you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too soupy. Really whatever you want, cause you're, gonna, you're either gonna eat it cold or heat it back up in the morning time anyway. But that's how you make that. This is how you make the overnight oats. Then you pop it in the refrigerator Take that bad boy out in the morning time. You grab your raspberries, your strawberries, your blueberries, whatever it is, pop that over in there. And then you grab your sugar-free syrup. It is hard for you to eat oats without the sugar. I know y'all like the sugar packets. You know, we ain't gonna do that. You go with the sugar-free syrup. It's not gonna taste sugar-free if it's in there. I promise it's not. And if you got like, you know, the strawberries and stuff in there. But that's how you make that. And we'll show you how everything comes together. So for breakfast, I have my overnight oats, which we will get out of the refrigerator, mix it up, and we'll put some raspberries and some blueberries or strawberries in there. And then for lunch, I'll probably mix this ground beef with half a sweet potato. And for another meal, we'll do chicken and rice. And I actually do that for two meals. Anything in between will normally be rice cakes and peanut butter with sliced bananas on top. And anything other than that, if I'm still hungry, it'll likely be chicken and rice or a protein shake. So that's all we got. All right, so since I know y'all tired of seeing these same couple of meals, I'll start trying to do different meals so that way y'all can see a few other things too. But salmon is just kind of expensive, you know, when you buy it fresh. So just stay tuned. Can we walk? Come on, shorty, let's my body stop. Can you tell me that you love me? Don't you lie about it? Can you tell me that you love me? Don't you lie about it? Can we talk?